Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today we're tackling a common issue that can be super frustrating, HTTP error 500. If you've seen this error on your site, it means something's gone wrong on the server side and your website isn't loading as it should. But don't worry, we're here to help you fix it. Let's dive in. What is HTTP error 500? This error is basically the server's way of saying, oops, something went wrong, but I'm not quite sure what. It's a server side issue, which means the problem is with your website server, not with your browser or internet connection. So what could be causing this error? Here are a few common culprits. 1. Misconfigured .ht access file. This file manages various server settings. If it's not configured correctly, it can cause a 500 error. 2. PHP memory limit issues. If a PHP script exceeds the allocated memory, it can lead to a 500 error. 3. Corrupted core files. Corrupted files can mess with the server's ability to process requests. 4. Permission issues. Incorrect file or directory permissions can block access to essential files. 5. Plugin or theme conflicts. In content management systems like WordPress, faulty plugins or themes can trigger this error. Basic troubleshooting steps. The first one would be to check the .htaccess file. Log into your cPanel account and open the file manager. Make sure hidden files are visible by clicking on the settings button and checking show hidden files dot files. Locate the .htaccess file in your website's root directory, usually public underscore HTML. Rename the file to something like htaccess underscore old. If your site loads correctly after renaming, the .htaccess file was the issue. You can then create a new .htaccess file with default settings. Secondly, you can try increasing PHP memory limit. Go to cPanel and find the select PHP version or multi-PHP INI editor. Look for the memory underscore limit directive and increase it. For example, from 128M to 256M. Save the changes. This can help if your site is running resource-heavy scripts. Advanced troubleshooting steps. If the basic steps don't solve the problem, try these advanced methods. 1. Check error logs. In cPanel, go to Metrics and click on Errors. Look for specific error messages that can guide you to the root cause. 2. File and Folder Permissions. Ensure directories have permissions set to 755 and files to 644. Use the File Manager to adjust these settings if needed. 3. Restore Core Files. Download a fresh copy of your CMS from its official website. Upload the new core files to your site, avoiding overwriting important folders like WP content. 4. Enable debug error display using multi-php INI editor. In cPanel, go to the multi-php INI editor, select your domain, and enable error display by setting display underscore errors to on. This will show detailed error messages directly on your website, making it easier to pinpoint the problem. 5. Enable Debug Mode in Laravel Applications If you're working with a Laravel application, enable Debug Mode by modifying the NV file or the app DHP file. In the NV file, set app underscore debug to true. This will provide detailed error information when the 500 error occurs, helping you to diagnose the issue quickly. 6. Check the estadir.log file for Python and Node.js apps. For Python and Node.js applications, head to your project's root directory and look for for the steeder to log file. Open this log file to find detailed error messages that can guide you to the root cause of the HTTP 500 error. You can also try resolving plugin or theme conflicts if you think plugins or themes are the problem. 1. Deactivate plugins and themes. In WordPress, go to plugins and deactivate all plugins. Switch to a default theme. Reactivate plugins one by one to identify any conflicts. 2. Use FTP for plugin management. If you can't access your admin dashboard, use an FTP client to deactivate plugins by renaming their folders. If you've tried everything and the error persists, it might be time to contact your hosting provider. Provide them with details like error logs, recent changes, and the steps you've already taken. To keep HTTP error 500 at bay in the future, use cPanel's backup wizard or a reliable backup plugin to backup regularly. Regularly update your CMS, plugins, and themes. Lastly, use cPanel tools to track your server's performance and avoid resource issues. 
And that's a wrap on fixing HTTP error 500 in cPanel. With these tips, you'll be able to troubleshoot and resolve the error, keeping your site running smoothly. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching TrueHost Academy, and I'll see you in the next video.